Hi, I'm Jim Bergman, Technical Specialist for Testo Inc. And then today I wanted to go over some of the key features of the Testo 327 Combustion Analyzer. Testo's been in combustion for over 50 years. In fact, they're one of the, the pioneers in combustion uh, analysis. Uh, over the years, they've done a lot in the industry to really make combustion analysis easy and affordable for everyone. Testo does a lot with integrating features into the instrument that make the measurements more accurate and make the instrument more reliable and really make the instrument usable for the technician every single day. Uh, some of the key features I'd like to point out on this, number one, our four-line display. Really easy to read, user configurable so we can go through and set this up exactly the way you want to use it. Uh, that's one of the things that makes this instrument superior over uh, lesser instruments because it can be set up and configured the way that you need the instrument to work. Um, especially if you're doing utility work or weatherization work where there are certain parameters you want to measure and you want to see all the time on the display. The instrument uh, has several different fuel selections which we can go over in the setup section of the menu, but it's, it's really usable for any kind of coal, oil, wood, gas, um, in biofuels that you might run into. So you can use it on everything from this 90 plus furnace that we're working on here uh, to a oil or coal furnace that you might run into somewhere else in the field. Another one of the key features on the Testo 327 is integrated water trap. A lot of times manufacturers build this into the hose and it's quite cumbersome. You gotta make sure that you don't pick the hose up any higher than the instrument. Testo incorporating this inside the unit has made this a lot easier to maintain and service. To empty it out, you know, it's just a quick, quick pull of the drain tab here. We pull this out, turn it upside down, drain that moisture out, very easy to use. Uh, Hands-free operation is important when you're using one of these instruments. On the back are three large magnets allowing this instrument to stick to any kind of a metal surface so we have nice hands-free operation and it's going to hold on there very easily so the technician doesn't have to hold the instrument while he's trying to do other work like positioning the probe. Uh, in internal diagnostics, with a quick push of a button here, we can scroll through menus, our memory, our setup, fuel selection, measurement menu, and really know what the instrument's doing and how the instrument's working uh, quite easily. On the bottom of the instrument, we have some uh, neat features, and one of those is a ambient temperature probe. This allows us to measure the temperature of the air going in the instrument for combustion. That probe is removable, so if we wanted to use a auxiliary temperature probe, like on this 90 plus furnace to measure incoming air, it could very easily be done. Clips right back in there. Uh, differential pressure port for a manometer, a charging point. But this is one of my favorite features, is a single connection for all of the temperature and pressure readings, including our temperature, pressure, draft, and combustion gases. One of the unique features of the Testo 327 is a modular probe. Testo's done a great job of incorporating the, the flue gas path, the draft path, and the temperature all into one single connection. So it's simple to use. We line up arrow to arrow, push it on, turn the bayonet type clip, and it's locked on and it's a nice positive connection. A couple unique features about the uh, Testo 327 probe assembly. The probe assembly is a modular probe assembly, so it includes provisions for measuring draft, flue gas, and temperature uh, all in the same probe. The probe has an adjustable stop, and the adjustable stop is so we don't pull flue gases around the probe assembly when we're doing our test measurement. It has a very supple uh, cord to attach to the instrument, and it has an integrated particulate filter. The particulate filter, as it pulls the flue gas through the shaft, will get dirty from the inside out. So when the filter is dirty on the outside, it's time to change because it's plugged on the inside. Snap it right back in place, quick turn, and it's all back together. If there's ever been a complaint about any combustion analyzer, it's the fact that they seem to spend more time on the UPS truck than they do on your own as they go back and forth for service. The Testo's really eliminated a lot of these problems with self-service uh, cell assemblies. I wanna show you real quickly how easy this is to change and, and a little bit about the internals of the instrument. So all we gotta do now is lift off the cover and we can see the, all the internals of the instrument. We have our CO cell, our O2 cell, and our rechargeable battery. To service this instrument, it's quite simple. We slide off the two hoses on the CO cell, the silicone tubes, lift out the CO cell. O2, we slide back the silicone hose here and lift out the O2 cell. And to remove the battery, simply push down the battery and slide it down and the battery will lift right out. O2, to reinstall this, it's simply the same way we took it out. We set the O2 cell in the silicone sensor, drop it into place, 
and lock it in. Take the CO cell, set it in place. Slip our hose on here, we'll set it in place, lock it in, connect our second hose, and then our battery, just set it in place, and simply slide it forward to lock it in. You hear a positive click there, it's locked in. Then we just reinstall the back of the instrument, tighten our two screws, Power the instrument back on and we're ready to, uh, for service. I'm going to go through, we'll just hit flue gas. It's going to go through a countdown. It's got a 30 second zero time. And after it goes through that, we'll go ahead and hit OK for natural gas here. We'll see our O2 and CO readings. You see our oxygen is 21%, which is the O2 in the air and our CO is at zero parts per million. All right, taking a closer look at the CO cell, uh, the Testo does some things that are pretty unique. Again, the sensor itself is a calibrated sensor, so when you get this thing, it comes calibrated. You don't have to worry about doing that in the field. The other thing that the sensor incorporates is an internal NOx filter. And the NOx filter itself, I'll get this out so we can see it, is a uh, gas permeable membrane that strips NOx out of the flue gas before it enters the CO cell. NOx is a cross interference, a chemical that simply adds a false high CO uh, to the sensor. So we want to make sure we strip that out so we get an accurate reading. The sensor is replaceable, but it normally lasts the life of the cell. So it's not something you're going to need to order and have extras on of hand. This is real easy to put back inside. We'll just line the filter up with the cartridge here. We snap this back in place. It locks in, we line up the cell with the instrument again, and we can pop it right back into place. Typically, a technician can change these cells out in less than five minutes in the field. So this really is gonna eliminate your downtime with our instrumentation. The Testo 327 comes in a variety of factory configured kits to suit all your testing needs. We have this instrument configured for everything from CO only to natural gas to oil test kits. With and without printers, with, an, with accessory probes, uh, pretty much tailored to meet any testing need you might have. What really makes this instrument unique, again, is the ability to service it in the field. Testo's gone a long way and thought through the process of what it's going to take to keep the technician up all the time so we minimize the downtime and maximize the testing that can be done.